All right, in this video, what we're going to be talking about is fluorescence. Right now, we have a diamond that we're interested in. It actually has faint fluorescence, so we want to see what the difference is between none and faint fluorescence. Now, the actual diamond is with the ring designer. However, you're going to see that, you know, we're going to be showing off two diamonds. The one on the left is going to have no fluorescence. The one on the right is going to have faint fluorescence. Both diamonds are GIA graded. So, what I'm going to do is move this UV light over here into the picture. And these are the two diamonds. Keep in mind, the one on the left had no fluorescence. The one on the right had faint. And under this light, you can see, I'll zoom in a little bit as well, the one on the right you know, definitely shows the fluorescence under this black light. This is the only time you're going to notice this when it's under a black light. So if you had a nightclub um, or something like that, you know, and there's black lights, the diamond might glow a little bit. Now, what we're going to do, I have the diamonds in the same position. Let me zoom out a little bit. We're going to be looking at the diamonds under fluorescent light. Let me see if I could zoom in real quick. I want to keep the camera going. Oh, you know what? I just have to pause it for a second because we're going to be zooming in. So just give me one second. Actually, yeah, I want it to be in focus. So let me zoom in a little more. All right. Now, this is the diamonds under fluorescent light. So, you know, similar to like an indoor office building, it's going to have this type of appearance. I'm going to put on a special zoom to magnify this even more. Just hold up one second. All right, so these are the same exact diamonds in the same position, and now it's more in focus. And as I mentioned, both these diamonds are the same color. You're going to see there's no noticeable difference in the way the fluorescence is affect. You know, the light's affecting the fluorescence uh, from what you're seeing visually. They look identical in that sense. If there's any slight differences, it could be cut quality or something like that. Now, let me do LED light. And once again, you would never know which one's which regarding the fluorescence. In fact, I've actually asked, you know, some of my coworkers as well, none of us has, have ever noticed a difference between none to faint diamonds with fluorescence in any type of lighting environment whatsoever. That includes natural direct sunlight. Once you get to the medium to very strong, sometimes the diamonds might get like a little bluish tint to them. And now what we're going to do, I'm going to throw in a different type of light, spotlight. And once again, you know, it's an apples to apples comparison. Now, some fluorescence, it's about only in 2% of the diamonds with fluorescence that can make the diamonds appear hazy, cloudy. Then you'll notice a difference, but we don't sell diamonds like that. Now I'm going to actually turn the camera off. I'm going to go by the window and use some d daylight. It's a little bit cloudy. I'll show you on the camera. Uh, we're really waiting for the sun to come out. Then I'll take direct sunlight shots. Um, but just hang tight. I'll be right back with you. All right, so I mentioned it was cloudy out today. If you take a look, you'll see some of the puddles. We just had some rain. And if you look at the sky, really not much sun, a bunch of clouds. But we're definitely going to be waiting for the sun to resume the second part of this video. All right, so here's the two diamonds again. We're using natural daylight. And you're going to see the one that's glowing a little bit. That's the one with fluorescence. I'm going to take the UV light away, just turn them this way. Eventually they're going to start to come into focus. Let's see. Just give me one second. I just want to do this kind of like in real time, you know? All right. And you'll see regarding brilliance, regarding any color tones, th that matches exactly. If I didn't show you the UV light in the beginning, you wouldn't know which one was which. All right, now, once we get some real sunlight out, I'm definitely gonna take another video using direct sunlight and, and also indirect sunlight to show you that visually, you're gonna see the same uh, differences or non-differences, should I say. Thank you so much.